So I've uh, cleaned both and decided this is looking a bit scabby. So I thought what we'll do is we'll make a new one. So this is made out of canvas. It's just held on with these dot fasteners, like a press stud that goes on to a screwed in stud fastener. Now I'm gonna make a new one. This is a template. Cover that. Um, and I'll show you how to make one. Now that's made out of canvas. What I'm going to use is this PVC PU coated acrylic stuff that's um, out and about now. It's, this is just some cheap stuff I bought off eBay. It's um, got a crap side and then a good side. And um, you can get better stuff that's um, double sided. So reason I bought that is because it comes in one and a half meters by one meter and um, so there's going to be a lot of waste so if you fancied making some window covers and all that it'd be better off measuring up and doing it all at once to save on waste now I bought some better stuff and I made a canopy just copied my old one so you could build up to this and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make these seams twin seam and then all your fasteners there's different kinds of fasteners go into them and um, outside here you've got them um, lift the dot fasteners so I'll show you where to buy all them from only thing I'd have sewn with zips everything else can be welded now you might be thinking welding a boat with a mask on and uh, a get big rod in the flame but no, what we're going to do is I'm going to roll that out, draw around on that, and all you need is an heat gun and um, a magic roller. And then, the okay, best tool you need in this job is this hammer. And then you'll need this, this, and this magic thing. You now you buy that as a kit i'll show you i'll put a link in thing where to buy it there your press studs snap fasteners i'll show you how to put them on and if you've not got out on deck to screw to there then you just screw there's a screw there look can you see that i'll just screw into drill a little pilot hole and um, fill it with some marine sealant so no water can get in and just screw it in boom done um there to when we make seams you can use clothes pegs to be fair i bought these because i wouldn't want to make canopy it was a bit of a big job and some liquid chalk to draw around so right let's crack on right i'm, I'm not going to try and cut these fancy things on I'm just gonna make it square um, but when you're getting your size together if you're just measuring it or if you're drawing around one like this what you need to do is you need to cut it two inches bigger all the way around because that's what you're gonna to use to make your M with which is what these are gonna go into so I have chalked it but it's not right to, it's gonna be dry as you can see I've got a rough two inch bigger so you need to cut it two inch bigger for your M because that is what this is which is what these are going to go into just gives it it finish gives it that finish you can see which chalk oh, still on that never washed it off um, it gives it that finish it makes it thicker and they are more sturdier into the old thingy so we'll cut this out now Right, so we've cut that out. Uh, you just cut it with scissors. It's easy enough, like there's no... If you wanted to use canvas, it's exactly the same principle, except you'd have to sew your M in, which is why I prefer this stuff. And it's rock proof. Um, it'll not go like that. It doesn't shrink, it doesn't fade in sun, UV resistant, waterproof. So it's it'll last for years. And it's cheap enough. 
but obviously if you prefer canvas you can do exactly the same with canvas mm, right so now we'll make the hem I'll show you this right so that's this first one done so when you obviously you're just going to use clothes pegs but I've used these I've got a little measuring guide on I've made this one a little bit thinner because at front it hatch then it curves of at front so I don't want it to, to be too rigid so um, right so what you do now is you get your little heat gun and you warm warm that bit up or wherever you want to start I usually start it middle me and if it goes a bit wonky you can it, it doesn't interfere it, it goes correct as it gets to end so you eat that up and as you're eating it up you get some pressure onto there and that'll stick that down so I'll do this one side and then I'll show well I'll do this first bit here and then I'll show you but if you're doing it on something like this go steady because if this gets warm it might peel up and that would be a right disaster so better do it on a piece of ply it's got to be flat no lumps are out so I'm just doing it on this metal bit and uh, let's have a look how this goes disaster happening in three two one right so I've done this first one here as you can, I don't touch it because it's boiling. Oh, it's perfectly. I'll just go over that. No, it's got it. There, just really hot. So I take them off and then work down to the next one. Take that one off, work down to the next one, and then just do the same all the way around there. So I'll finish that off and then uh, I'll show you how to next thing is putting them fittings on. Right, that's uh, that side's done. So you want to do opposite ends first and then your sidey bits after. Uh, so that's marked up at 200. I'll weld down that. And if it goes a bit wonky like that, you can trim it with scissors. So don't worry about that. You can straighten it all up and make it look neat, round corners off do whatever you want afterwards um, right so we'll do all these and then fasten this right so that's all as um, edges done make sure it fits it's the same size as you can see it's still a bit warm it's giving it a proper stiff that's actually boiling that proper stiff edge to whack them things in so that's going to be top side in it when it's done obviously so yeah so now I will show you how to whack as you can see I've um, I've already made some before from when I was doing canopy uh, I'll leave it links and everything from where to buy these dot fasteners and um, I'll just it's a bloke on eBay uh, C. Clark Marine or something and there's all these every single one you can imagine them turn buttons them lift the dot fasteners which is them ones which is got all the way across these and then there's these press stud ones as well both them that you screw in and if you wanted it to just stick together so and then you can if you really want to have a go at a canopy windows you just do the same they just it, it, it just eat welds on this i did this two years ago and it's um not blown out so it's so i've done something right i think this canopy if you're gonna have a go at it i got a quote from 1500 were my cheapest and three and a half grand were dearest and i think we all materials it cost me 500 quid so I, you know, I know it's not perfect i'm not saying it is but it ain't three grand and i was i mean it don't leak these were dearest things because they're like 80 90 pence a piece so if you look how many there is it that's what added up material this it's got like a lacquered finish so it just wipes clean um <coughs> that was it's off at all wool limited i think it's um three meters wide and then you order it in my mail length you want and it cost me 30 quid for the roof 
maybe 50, 60. It went, oh, with delivery on that, I think it were about 60 quid, just for the roof. Side pieces, they, because they were smaller, could get away with buying cheaper stuff. Um, which, because I only wanted 150 by um, so many meters long, both sides. Reason there's no windows in that back bit is because I just copied it exactly off what we're on. But I did think about adding some windows. It wouldn't be hard to do. Just cut them out with scissors, stick them on like I did with that. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. So I'll put links to what everybody for materials, this good stuff and cheap stuff. Um, and you can decide what you want to buy depending on what you're going to have a go at. But I will tell you now, it were a bastard. It weren't easy. But 500 quid int, three and a half grand, is it? It took me a full weekend. I think I did it in an August bank holiday. Um, and me and my father did it. And it took three days. It, we would come down Friday and we'd finished it by Tuesday. Um, but I didn't use that heat gun. I've got, I used to do make t-shirts and that, so I've got an heat press. And I, I did all these alt things in that, uh, which sped it up a bit. So, but I, you don't, because it's in sections, you could just do a side. Leave it a couple of weeks, do it on the other side. Then when you feel up to it, tackle top. So, right, what we need to do now is you're gonna need this little thing first to put your roll in. So, you, you decide, I'd advise marking it all up. Before you, I'm not gonna be able to do this and show you. So you just put that there, so that's where my hole wants to be. And then you smack it with that big hammer and it'll put a perfect little hole in it. So I'll do that first, let me just pause it. Right, so I've just braid that. As you can see, oh yeah. So we take that out now. Okay, now, that's it. Then you get this little magic tool and this one. And a fastener, let me just get a fastener. Right, these fasteners come in two parts. So you've got your bottom bit, and then you've got your actual press study bit. So make sure you've got it right way up. I've got to turn this over. So you get that, and you sit that in there like that. And then you put this over that. I'm just gonna have to pause it. Right. So we've sat that in that little dish, poked it through, and then you just get this, and you put that over the, over that little knob that's stuck up, and then you get this magic thing here, with that little thing on, you stick that in, in centre of that there, like that, and then you smack that with hammer as hard as you can, I'm gonna have to pause it again, and it'll, well, you'll see in a minute. Right, so I've just braid that, like that, from that. And as you can see, we now have a press stud, which will fasten onto the deck. So I'll do it over four now, but I need to go outside and mark them all up because I don't want to be doing them all willy nilly and then it not fitting, because uh, that would be a major disaster. And then, once it's done, we can trim edges make it square and neat and that and everything and like I say might round the edges off it's going to look a lot better than that anyway isn't it right so I'll get over four in right I've just uh, braid last fitting in so now as you can see more fours in just got to be nice over there so let's go and see that's my front because that's my thin edge you see so let's go and see if it fits and there you go look at that perfect so you just if you wanted to do the same principle for window covers you just screw them things in put your press studs on boom done that Stop sunlight getting in, stop water coming in, stop me getting woke up 
at five in the morning and it'll just wipe clean so yeah if you're going to be brave have a go at doing a canopy